Hi everyone, I'm here today to do another what's in my bag video. Today I'm going to be sharing, it's heavy, <laughs> my MCM backpack and I love this bag. I get so many compliments on this bag and questions about it. I just thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys. And also it holds a ton. <laughs> so it'll be fun to do a what's in my bag because there's a lot in here. And I pretty much take this anytime I need my computer. Anytime I'm traveling, I have a meeting, I'm like working somewhere other than my home office, or I just have a lot to schlep around that day, <laughs> it comes in handy so much. So I just wanna dive right into it and I'll um, give you all the details as we go. It's called the MCM Dual Stark Backpack and it's in the size medium, which I got because that was the only size that would fit my laptop. I actually brought my laptop to Nordstrom's and tried fit, did I say laptop or backpack? I brought my laptop to Nordstrom's and tried fitting it in different size MCM backpacks. And the small backpack, which I think is like a more cute size, a more manageable size, doesn't fit my laptop, which is the MacBook Air. Although, you know what? Yeah, when I got this backpack, I had a different laptop, but it's still true. My, I think it's like the 13 inch MacBook Air is only fits in this size. So, that's why I got a medium. The color is beige, which at first I actually got it in black, and then I wound up returning it, because I just feel like MCM backpacks are cool because they're unisex, but I felt like the black one was like a little bit more masculine. And I love beige and nude everything. Like, look at me, I'm themed with my purse, not on purpose. Obviously, I love beige, and I just think this color is really beautiful. It has the gold and the gunmetal studs gold hardware and it's just so pretty and it's worn really well I've had it honestly I've had it for like almost two years so year and a half I guess it's worn really well it's doesn't have any real signs of age except I can't even show you I don't think but a couple of the studs have like some tiny scuff marks because I just wasn't thinking and I was wearing it and I like scraped a wall but other than that, and I think you can easily replace those studs, and other than that, it has just worn so well. I'm so happy with it. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in. This was actually one of the first luxury bags I ever purchased, and I was so dumb. I was like, what's this bag for that it came in, the dust bag, and I threw it away. <laughs> so I since repurchased a dust bag, this is just off Amazon, and I keep it in that and stuff to hold its shape because I don't use this as like my primary bag. So that's how I've kept it in such good shape, but I have used it on trips, on airplanes, you know, like it's gone with me to bars and coffee shops and everything. So I don't remember why I was telling you that, but point is it's traveled really well. <laughs> okay, this is the inside. So you can kind of see how full it is. It's really heavy, in fact, I should weigh it and put that on the screen because that was funny last time. I thought it was way heavier than it was. But this one really is heavy and it's just packed. So I'll go ahead and take everything out one at a time. This is my computer. It's the MacBook Air. This case is off of Amazon. It's just baby pink. I also have a baby pink keyboard cover. I'll link both of those because I know you guys are going to ask. Um, but yeah, so that's just the MacBook Air. I want to say it's 13 or 15 inch. And then I also have this notepad. This is by Bando. I love their office supplies. It's such cute stuff. This one says, I am very busy with gold foil on a pink um, notepad. And that's all I keep in this back pouch. Once it's empty, I'll kind of show you how the pockets are better. By the way, this bag has an amazing surprise. And I'm not going to do a plot spoiler. I won't tell you but stay tuned for something amazing about this bag that everybody's obsessed with, including me. <laughs> okay, then I have a pencil pouch. This is also from Bando. It says, I did my best. And I just like to have pins with me. Like I said, if I'm taking this backpack, I'm usually working somewhere outside of my usual office setup. So I like to have my own pins that I can get all color-coded and organized with. And so what I'm carrying are these highlighters by Friction. F-R-I-X-I-O-N. I'll link these as well. These are awesome. They are erasable highlighters. 
they've changed my life because I love to color code and I just hate when you like you can't really see where you're highlighting because the highlighters in the way I don't know so it's great that you can erase if you ever need to okay next up in here this also will fit my larger Louis Vuitton agenda which I have a separate video on I don't have it in here right now because like I said I usually baby that agenda <laughs> it doesn't really leave the home but I do carry this one with me, which is the MM, the medium Louis Vuitton agenda. And this is my wallet. I also have a video on that. And then the sunglasses I'm carrying right now are my Dior, what are these called? I wanna say like Technologic, is that what they are? I love these glasses. They're just so reflective. I'm such a sucker for like really, really, really reflective glasses. And I just keep them in the Dior box. I just throw it in here. It works out great. I kind of want to wear these the rest of the video now. But I won't. Um, and then this is all, you'll probably remember this from my Neverfull. What's in my Neverfull bag? Because these are kind of a staple for me that whenever I switch bags, I have these three pouches. So this one has my makeup in it. I want to touch up on the go. I'm just going to quickly go through it in case you didn't see that video. I have the Well Rested Bare Minerals Face Brightener, which is good to do like under eyes. I have a liquid um, or a cream blush from Stila. I have a CC cushion from Laneige. A Louboutin. How do you say it? Louboutin? Louboutin? I don't know. I have a lipstick and it's gorgeous and I love it. The Josie Marin Argon Finishing Balm, which is a good little pick-me-up. I have a powder cushion from Marc Jacobs. Concealer from Benefit called Boing. A little thing of perfume. This is, which one is this? Mm, it smells so good. So good. It's Jo Malone Orange Blossom. Oh, I love it so much. It's like so... It just smells exactly like orange blossom trees, which I grew up in Florida and it's like the best smell ever. And then I have a little Sephora eyelash brush, a makeup remover wipe, and some hair ties, and some safety pins because you never know when you're going to have like a wardrobe malfunction. Okay, so that's like my little um, cosmetics pouch. Then I've got this one, which came with my Neverfull. It says like my emergency pouch. I've got some screen wipes for my phone. I've got a tied stick. I use this like daily, especially with my husband because he's always spilling. I have some um, anxiety tablets, like homeopathic, what's it called? Rescue remedy. And I have cupcake flavored dental floss, Advil, Tums, Vaseline, tampon, okay, yeah. And then the last pouch that I carry is this one, which has like all my go-tos in it. Um, tissues that fell out of their wrapper and are now just everywhere. <laughs> uh, I have my hairbrush, which is a wet brush. Comb from Forever 21, says good hair day. My makeup, you guys love this. This is from Fred, it's like playing cards. I will try to find a link to this because everybody was asking for it before. It's really cute. Evian face spray, I wanna do a little bit of this. Feels so good. It's really good if you're flying too. I have like a random lens cleaner cloth, a phone charger with a little phone cord on it. Oh, I didn't know where this was. This is an NYX lip gloss I was looking for. It's the Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. It's really pretty. I have a pin, another eyelash spoolie. It has hair on it, why did I just do that? <laughs> and a thing of tea, this one's peppermint flavored. Eye drops for my contacts. Poopery, oh, everything has hair on it in the bottom of this. That's so gross. Um, yeah, this is poopery spray before you go toilet spray and tahine seasoning because it's so cute. Okay, so that's this pouch. 
And then, now you can kind of see better how it's structured inside. There's this one big compartment, which I just think of as like the laptop compartment. And there's this zippered pouch, which I actually don't have anything in right now. Usually I would keep like my keys in there maybe. Um, and then the big part, which is what I had those three smaller pouches in, I, I like to like make as many compartments as possible. This has a decent amount, but still I like to separate it all out. And then there's just these two pockets, whoops, right here. So in the first one, I have some extra lip stuff, my Agave Lip Balm by Bite, and Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. And then in this one, I have this little Mickey Mouse purse holder that you like set it on the table and hang your purse. And is that it? No, oh, there's more. I have my little sea glass that my husband found for me and a little pocket knife. So that's everything in this main section. Then on the sides, this one has my favorite hand lotion, Rich Girl by Deborah Lipman, and my one of my favorite hand sanitizers, which is from Bath and Body Works in the vanilla scent. So that's like my hand section because that's where I keep my lotion and my sanitizer. And then this side, this pocket, is like my mouth section because I have my lip gloss of the moment, which is Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper in Amethyst. It's so pretty, you guys. My giant bag of gum because I'm just obsessed with gum. And that's it. So I like to like just keep like mouth products here and products there. I don't know why. Okay, so then the last thing is the front, and I'm finally to like the really cool thing I've been wanting to show you. Get ready for it. This whole, you probably already know this, like you've probably heard of this bag and you're like, Charlotte, that's not, that's not a big like, plot twist. But I just think it's really cool. This comes off, like this little thing clips off on both sides, and then these turn into zipper pools. And you can unzip this front pouch and a dirty tissue just fell out. But how great is that? Because like I said, this backpack is really heavy, especially when I had it totally loaded up. So if I'm ever just like running into the store, or actually this is the reason I'm doing the video tonight is that we're about to go out. So I'm like kind of transitioning from like daytime. I was working, I was running around. I had this bag with me. Now we're just going out to a party. So I'm just going to bring this bag. How perfect is that? And it's really cute on its own. Like, I think the open zipper just looks like an interesting detail. Like, nobody can ever tell. Did you just, like, take that off of your backpack? <laughs> but it works really well. And so this is what the backpack looks like once it's off. There's a pouch here. What do I have? I have the lipstick I'm wearing, which is KKW Kiki. And then this pouch, like, you can put the strap in when you're not using it as a separate bag and it has a little magnetic closure. And it still looks cute on its own. So it's like three bags in one. I love this bag so much. And everybody like, it's like the best party trick. Whenever I zip that off, people are like, whoa, oh my gosh. They're really like shocked and amazed, as am I every time I do it. So here's what's left. This was, when it was the front pouch of my backpack, I only had two things in it. This little coin purse and my Louis Vuitton key holder, which I love. It's probably honestly my favorite like luxury item that I own. So that was everything. This is all empty now. And I'm just going to refill this with what I want to bring tonight when we go out. So the first thing is obviously my whole wallet doesn't, well, would it fit? It actually kind of would fit, but then nothing else would. I'm actually impressed. Wow, it totally did. It's in there now. But I don't want to use that much space. I don't need this whole thing. If you watched my wallet video, you know, like, I keep my wallet really organized according to our budget. But on times like this, when we're just going out for the night, I just bring what I know I'll need for that night. So I'm bringing my ID, and I'm just going to bring, like, some emergency cash because um, I think my husband's gonna treat me tonight, but just in case, I'll have a little bit of money on me. So these things, I just stick in my coin purse. Like, normally during the day, this just has change in it, but for tonight, I'll have, it'll be like my whole wallet. So.
So that's going in. My little key pouch comes. And then this, I also have an emergency credit card in here. So I'm covered, you know, between that and the other thing. I could like get an Uber and I have identification, blah, blah, blah. So what else can I not live without tonight? I definitely need, I kind of threw everything everywhere just now. I'm gonna bring this lip gloss that I've been wearing and where did I just put my lipstick? Okay, oh boy, there it is, okay. So I'm gonna bring my lipstick and my lip gloss and then I would normally bring gum but that's obviously excessive so I have like a smaller pack of gum in my car that I'll just throw in there. I won't need my sunglasses because it's gonna be dark outside. I have to have hand lotion at all times. I think like dry hands is the worst feeling ever. So I'm bringing my giant tube of hand lotion. And then since it is evening, I'm gonna bring my eye drops just in case my contacts start bothering me. And I'm gonna bring my Laneige cushion for touch-ups. I'll bring my Evian spray just so I can kind of have a fresher, dewier look. And my little mirror. I think that's, well, in my phone, which I can't show you because I'm actually filming on it, but that really still isn't very full at all. That's kind of all I need for the night, but let's just keep filling her up because we can. Bring my charger, you never know. What else would I maybe want? I'll bring some of these tissues that just I just made it rain with. <laughs> Oops, my ring. An eyelash brush. Hairband. Anything else? You never know when you need a pocket knife. Not so much for self-defense as just opening things. <laughs> it comes so in handy, it's ridiculous. Um, and then I'll bring some Advil too, just in case. But honestly, I don't know. Honestly, this still isn't full. I'll be easily able to like slide my phone in there. But that's more than enough for tonight. Like normally. Honestly, normally for a night out, I would just bring like my phone, my wallet or cash, my keys, my lip product, some gum, some tissues, some lotion. Those are my things, you know, like everybody has their things like when they leave the house, like, okay, I have to have this, this, and this. Like, I remember when I used to smoke, it was like wallet, keys, phone, cigarettes. <laughs> and now it's like wallet, keys, phone, lip gloss, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's actually everything. It fits really nicely into here. And then tomorrow I'll just zip it right back on. I'll show you how it zips on. It's like slightly tricky, but really not. You just zip that up and then this cool zipper pull thing connects here and it locks into place. So I just absolutely adore this backpack. I think it's so cool and I just want to share it with you guys. So. Thank you so much for checking it out. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below or any future requests. I'm always happy to respond to those. I love getting to know you guys. Um, and then in the meantime, also check out my Instagram if you want. I post a lot on the stories on my Insta story. Um, and yeah, please like and subscribe if you're new here. I hope you stick around and I can't wait to talk to you guys soon.